Hello, Classic Rock fans. I am reporting live after the Tommy James and the Shondells concert at Waterfest in Oshkosh. Waterfest is a weekly summer concert series held up here in Oshkosh at the Leech Amphitheater. Been here several times in the past, seen a lot of great shows, and this summer is going to be more of the same. This is the first of several shows I intend to be up here to see, and I was most anticipating the show I saw tonight. I've been wanting to see Tommy James for a number of years now, and I'm really happy to say I finally got him off the list. Tommy James, of course, um, most well known from a, a string of hits and back to this in the 60s. Uh, and then having a bizarre resurgence in the 80s, not with hits of his own, but with um, pop artists covering his old songs from back in the 60s. Specifically, uh, Billy Idol and Tiffany. Now his catalog goes all the way back to the 60s, so this is very much an oldies act. And the audience up here reflected that. There was a very similar crowd to when I saw Jim Peterick, the Ides of March, and their Cornerstones of Rock uh, tour. Golden oldies. These are classic songs. I Think We're Alone Now, Dragging the Line, Crystal Blue Persuasion, Moni Moni. Just great tracks. And he has some other songs that aren't necessarily radio hits that he inserts through the rest of the set that are uh, very good as well. It captures that mid-60s radio pop kind of thing, and uh, it was really enjoyable. Now, despite being 60 years into his career, this man can still sing, he can still play, he's got a good band backing him up, and it was a good show. One minor complaint, it was a little short, hour and 15. That's about 15, 20 minutes short of what a headliner typically plays, but, you know, he played all his hits, he had good songs in between, so, you know, brevity is the soul of wit, so I guess we are fine. <laughs> and all of the songs were good, so it's not a big complaint. The only actual complaint, oh my gosh, are we about to have a train? Yeah, are you getting that? It's my luck, I'm trying to record a concert review in Oshkosh right after the show and we get a train coming through. A train came through during the show also, and it didn't distract me because at the time I was in the crowd up close where the sound was really loud, but the train took so long by the time the show ended and I went back to where my seats were, or my I had set up my uh, camp chair, the train was like still going. <laughs> so I imagine that must have had to bother whoever uh, was there because uh, trains are crushingly loud. Hopefully I can speak over this fucking train uh, with my only complaint uh, of the night, and it wasn't Tommy's fault. For whatever reason, I guess he got into town very late and they were not able to do a sound check. And I know this because he mentioned it a couple times during the show, and he mentioned it a couple times during the show because during multiple songs, uh, the sound was off. And there were some uh, squeaks and and high-pitched noises from the mics. So we're having a few issues up here. We'll get it all. So this is what happens when you have those sound checks. By the way, we didn't expect this. Oh, we had a hell of a time getting here today. We came in from New York, and uh, honestly, it was like pulling teeth. I didn't think it was going to happen. It's an occupational hazard. I get that those things happen, but it was during a couple of songs, so much so that he apologized to the crowd, and it's just too bad he didn't have time um, to do a sound check. I mean, I guess he must have pulled up like right before he went on, um, because his opening act, a Steely Dan tribute act called Steely Dane, actually played two sets tonight. So I just wonder if he had showed up a little earlier if he would have had an opportunity to do a sound check in between the opener sets, because for one, uh, fans are perfectly happy seeing sound checks. You know, a lot of bands charge for some fans to go see a sound check, so it was really too bad that they couldn't figure that out uh, because it did, unfortunately, negatively impact the show. But that's not a reflection on the tour or the artist. It was just a tough setup for tonight. If Tommy James is coming to your town and you are a fan of the golden oldies of rock and roll, without a doubt, go see him. This guy's cool. He's got an awesome fucking story. Uh, I've, I've been meaning to read his book for years. You know, he got, like, caught up in the mob. There was a hit out on him. 
you know, you talked a little bit about his book during the show and said that there's a, a movie being made about it, which is a great idea because he's got one of the most fascinating stories in rock and roll. So uh, absolutely look into Tommy James, re-familiarize yourself with those golden oldies, and if he's coming to your town, absolutely go see him. It's not going to be too expensive, and he puts on a good show. And if you enjoy it, go out and get a copy of his book. Man's got a very interesting story. Otherwise, uh, a credit to Waterfest here in Oshkosh for booking not just Tommy James, but a, a series of concerts I intend to see this summer. Love coming up here for it. They booked some great acts, and I'll have more reviews of those shows as the summer goes on. Uh, so with that, I will say goodnight. If you're a fan of classic rock, I do a podcast about classic rock, and you can check that out. Link in the description below. Otherwise, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please find us on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and keep rocking.